Hey everyone. Um, I'm Tara Lee. And my friends, Myra Flynn and her husband, Phil, uh, made a beautiful video called What's Next um, that I watched two nights ago. And they are both people of color and they didn't have to make this video um, to educate their white friends. And they are exhausted and they're new parents. And yet they took the time to do it. And I'm really grateful for them. And they said they're never doing it again. Um, and they challenged all of their white friends and followers to make a Facebook live video talking about all of this stuff too. And so I'm going to do it and I'm really uncomfortable and I'm really nervous and I'm afraid I'm going to say the wrong thing and I'm afraid I'm going to make mistakes. And the truth is I likely am going to do all of those things and but it's worth it to me. It's worth it to me to get in trouble, to try to do the right thing. I'm always learning. So if, if I do say the wrong thing here, like please call me out on it and let me know so I can learn from it and do the right thing from then on. And I really just want to thank Myra and Phil. They're so wise and beautiful and they're doing a great job at parenting and um, they just inspired me so much to be able to do this. And my gosh, my like heart is beating out of my chest. And I also, I want to apologize for not speaking up and saying things earlier, like in my whole life. Um, I'm so sorry. And I'm doing it now. But I'm sorry for the past even... There's just so many times. And so if that's the same for you, it's okay. But now is the time to speak up and do it. Okay, so one thing they talked about in the video was how when people, when we talk about Black Lives Matter and people respond, all lives matter and how that is, that is so wrong. And Myra had a, a really great um, way of seeing this or explaining it. And she said, if you're in traffic and there's a car on fire, yes, all the cars are important and they matter in the world. But the one that's freaking on fire, we need to care about that one more and put the fire out. And that is what this is about. All lives can matter until black lives matter. And so that... If you say all lives matter, that's infuriating. Like, yes, of course they matter, but right now, no lives matter until black lives matter. And that is what is important. And so I I acknowledge my privilege. And there's there's a post going around and um about how we have privilege right now and why. Black Lives Matter is so important right now. And so I'm just going to read it. So I have privilege as a white person because I can do all of these things without thinking twice. I can go birding. Christian Cooper could not. I can go jogging. Hamad Arbery could not. I can relax in the comfort of my own home. Botham, Sean... And Atiana Jefferson and Anna Taylor could not. And I'm really sorry if I am pronouncing any of these names incorrectly. I can ask for help after being in a car crash. Jonathan Farrell and Renisha McBride. I can have a cell phone. Stephen Clark. I can leave a party to get to safety. Jordan Edwards could not. I could play loud music. Jordan Davis could not. I could sell CDs. Alton Sterling could not. I could sleep. Ayana Jones could not. I can walk from the corner store. Mike, Mike Brown could not. I can play Cops and Robbers. Tamir Rice could not. I can go to church. Charleston Nine could not. 
I could walk home with Skittles. Travin Martin could not. I can hold a hairbrush while leaving my own bachelor party. Sean Bell could not. I could hold a party or I can party on New Year's. Oscar Grant cannot. I can get a normal traffic ticket. Sandra Bland cannot. I can lawfully carry a weapon with Philando Castile. I could break down on a public road with car problems. Corey Jones. I could shop at Walmart. John Crawford. I could have a disabled vehicle. Terrence Crutcher. I could read a book in my own car. Keith Scott. I can be a 10 year old walking with his grandfather. Clifford Glover. I could decorate for a party. Claude Reese. I could ask a, a cop a question. Randy Evans. I can cash a check in peace. Yvonne Smallwood. I could take out my wallet. Amadou Diallo. I can run Walter Scott. I can breathe Eric Garner. I can live Freddie Gray. I could be arrested without fear of being murdered. George Floyd. White privilege is real and take a minute to consider a black person's experience today. Black lives matter. So if you've experienced privilege because you are not afraid and you can do all of those things, that is why black lives matter right now because our black brothers and sisters cannot do those things and that's not okay. And and I don't want to stop until being white is not a privilege anymore. It shouldn't be. We have to do everything we can. And so right now, I want you to go and do some research and follow people of color on Instagram and on Facebook and all the social media. Share everything that they're sharing. Share their voices. Let them be heard. And support. That's what I can do as a white person and get out there and peacefully protest. And one thing that Myra and Phil said also is to not go to your black friends for, for help and do not ask them what to do. They said that their phones were blowing up with messages from their white friends asking them, how can I help? What the, can I do? It's not their job. We need to figure this out. Learn, research, do everything you can, but do not exhaust your black friends right now. That is not where their energy needs to go to help us, to help me as a white person. Also, they said, do not send messages to your black friends saying, the world is so effed up right now. Oh my gosh, can you believe it? They know. They've known this for a long time, and it's not their job to make white people feel better. So also don't do that. Another thing they said is also do not go to your black friends and say, please let me know how I can help you. I'm here because they do not need a white savior. Just love and support them and speak out and have uncomfortable conversations like this. I am so uncomfortable. <laughs> and again, if I'm saying the wrong thing, please let me know. That's how, that's how I'll learn. And now's the time. I'm gonna continue speaking up and saying things and learning more and more and more. And so I think that's what I have to say right now. And I love you all so much. A change has got to come. I stand with you. I see you. I love you. Black Lives Matter. Okay. Goodbye for now.